did the scrimmage go for you yesterday? Scrimmage? Yeah. Um, scrimmage went pretty well. <laughs> um, first run, I busted about a 60-something yard run. And then my third run was like another 60-yarder. The touchdown, and then I had some other good runs. So uh, I think the scrimmage went pretty well for me. Um, that's how I found out I got faster. I actually kind of ran away from some of those DBs. It felt kind of good. What do you need to do to have a big season, you personally? You know, what do you look forward to? Um, just keeping my focus. I mean, every day I come out here, I push myself hard as I can. Um, the coaches actually try to, you know, slow me down a little bit sometimes in, in practice because I'm going too hard. So. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the most out of every play. I mean, I, I only got so much time and I realized that, so I'm just trying to get the most out of everything I get out here. What improvements have you seen in the offensive line? There's a lot of talk about being more experienced, but have you seen anything particular better um, about this They line? communicate better. They communicate. They make their calls. Um, they're a lot quicker um, just lining up, and I think that's a, big, that, that's a big improvement. I mean, whenever we get our tempo really fast, it just flusters the defense, and I think – I think they've done a tremendous job in our conditioning with the O line. They're just so much faster in lining up when we go no huddle. So that's a big thing for sure. Are you more relaxed this year knowing that, that this is your team this year as opposed to a year ago that there was some you know, quarterback controversy? Just how do you feel about it? Honestly, I'm, I'm always relaxed. You know, I feel like there's never too much pressure on, on myself. And you put too much pressure on yourself. You know, sometimes it doesn't turn out too well. But I'm relaxed. You know, I'm just, I have confidence. And, I love to play this game, and that's what I love to do. I love to compete, and regardless of what the circumstances is, I'm always compete, you know, good or bad, if it don't turn out too well. Are there are a couple offensive players you think are standing out right now, the skill players, you think you can have big seasons? Well, you know, with Quinn Shaw's um, injury last year in the bowl game, he, he looked tremendously well, you know, with the routes he's running, and his hands have always been great. And Elijah Hood, who's been awesome, he had a great, uh, great scrimmage yesterday. He ran the ball well, maybe over 200 yards, like we needed as an offense. And, you know, those guys in that offensive linemen, man, those guys looked absolutely wonderful yesterday. And I, and I was so proud of those guys. You know, they just have so much confidence. And, you know, with the confidence from last year, building on and bringing it into this season, I'm excited for my last year with them. You, all of us are back up front, and I think that the maturity, you see guys step it up, and that's the thing we're really trying to preach here. When there is some adversity, we got to overcome it. When things are going great, we're all great teammates. But when things aren't going well, who are going to be the guys that, to right the ship? You know, don't let it just become a damn steamroller. So you know what I'm saying? Right. Does experience automatically mean improvement? Do you think? No, it, it does not automatically mean improvement. That's a good question. It, it, it means that I should understand what I'm doing, and there's a, you know, you get used to working with each other. But if they don't put the work in and the time in, and if I don't push them as a coach, then they won't get better. So is, there is no automatic. You know, they still have to put the work in the time in. Does that leave us a feeling of wait and see about how they're going to do, or do you look at it and say this group should be, will be a strength of this team? We have to be better. You know, there is no wait. I mean, that's we understand that for this team to be great, we got to be good up front, and it's got to be consistent. You know, you look at last year, there were some games that we were really good, and there were some games we weren't. You know, the consistency is really the key this year, is just be consistent in every game. Have you seen what you wanted to see thus far in camp? With consistency? I don't know as a coach if you ever see what right. you really want to see. I've seen some good moments. I've seen some things that, that you really want to see that we hadn't seen in a long time. But it, but still, consistency, it's, it's a constant battle. What do you do to improve the running game? Like, what do you do in practice to just make the running game better? You know, it, it's a whole offensive unit. It's a mentality, you know. In our offense, there's a lot of pieces. It starts up front, but then a quarterback, you know, we're in spread. So there's a lot of guys that are going to be unblocked. He's got to make the right decision to hand it off or throw it out. We need our receivers to do a great job of blocking the perimeter for big runs. And our backs got to do the job. If we get you to the third level, to break a tackle. So we understand that. We've talked a lot about that as an offensive unit. First of all, it starts up front. we got to set the tempo and the precedence to do it, but it takes all 11 guys.